Welcome back, everybody, to Spirit Please More Spiral Nights. Uh, before we begin, if you could please click the like button, subscribe in the bottom right hand corner. It does help me out a bit. Helps out with the algorithm and helps uh, keep the game and the community strong, because who knows? Maybe by the Trump. By the, <laughs> by the time Trump. Dr dr do you mind? But more coffee, right? By the, uh, by the time the, the re election happens, perhaps this game will still go on. The dictatorship of the masses. Which doesn't exist, might actually take over. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, we, we need, need to get some heat from this hacker on. We have the Voltage coming up, and I have my Gildy Griffin as a little gun. I don't really have any gun damage, but I do have the max bonus when it comes to these particular weapons. We use the Griffin because the only thing that really gives us uh, any kind of trouble, at least in my opinion, are the, uh, the Grievers and the Slimes, which are kind of a pain in the butt. Everything else I think can be, like, we can probably take out with the Akron charge, to be honest with you. We still have our graphics on... Uh, sort of medium setting, so hopefully that works out. We also, since this gate spawned, this gate just looks freaking brilliant. Um, oh man, we got a jelly farm, and look at all, this is like a beast area, so the Akron definitely is better. And then we have another arena, hopefully here. And then we get to finish up with um, some of the some of the old classics, which hopefully will, will produce some radiance, and we'll get our Akron up to level 7. Anyway, starting out with the jelly farm is kind of nice. I don't mind spending money on the extra areas, because what else are we spending our energy on? The CE, the crystal energy. First off, task manager, can you help me out? Java needs an extra boost. Java needs more caffeine. But anyway, by the time this goes up, you guys probably uh, saw I got Slime Rancher. My kids love it. I can't help it. It's a, it's, a, it's a really addicting. I'm gonna start. Uh, if I haven't already, I'm gonna start playing on like the hardest mode because I like casual. But I might. Yeah, I gotta give myself a challenge. Hey, I like this background. It's not as quite as animated as uh, what I'm used to seeing, but it's still kind of neat. But anyway, it's 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 a it's a lot of fun. That's all I'm saying. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Again, we're we're trying to get as much energy as humanly possible, so we're probably just gonna um we'll crack that open. And the old classic music too. Dude, uh, the the one of the revolutions. Like I know I only do five episodes, roughly. Revolutions, I guess. I don't know. You want to put this, but I only do like I, I try to do five a week with these spiral nights. It's like my five, and everything else is like a weekend job. The streams, like I consider like my like like bonus stuff. So we got our we got our maybe I'll start producing more. I don't know, but um, for the time being, anyway, it'll be easy. All of those hit them and they push them back as opposed to like the combustor which doesn't they don't ride it this is actually like a lot better uh, i i know the the winter grave does the uh like you had him have to hit him at the apex the the, the peak of the shot to have them all kind of kind of work so it's it's not bad it's just it, different interesting right yeah, okay, look, that was bad. And they just kind of ride it from there, so we can kite them all. This is actually when Mike can actually uh, show me what's up with his prestigious power. Come on in. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. But anyway, we, we got a... So far, so good, in, at least in two days' time from this video. I'm trying to build up a little bit of a black backlog, so if I say, uh, you know, I usually try to let people know, hey, you'll be on camera here in a few days. Might be a, a few more than normal because I'm, uh, you know, not gonna be. We're going camping. It's, it's gonna be the, the the most American camping you could ever think of. We're gonna be hop skipping. We'll be in a campsite. We just won't be sleeping at home. We'll be uh, hop skipping to jump away from every single bathroom. Um, we, I mean, I got two kids. What do you expect? Uh, we we, if we were growing up in like the dark age, well, not even the dark ages, like a wild wild west, the Jim Jim West Desperado. You don't want no. You don't want none of that guy. If he was the the mayor of our town apparently okay we can we can slice those and uh we we lived in a time when our houses never got emptied that kind of thing we we might be more acclimated to uh, there's leaves in this level how long have i been playing with like graphics down to piddly piss poor probably way too long anyway just saying we're not a uh, i'm not barbaric i want to you know if i can entertain my kids i will it's bad enough, I gotta tell, like, I gotta tell them to, to be grateful for what you have. And then meet, be met with uh, fierce resistance, especially with the younger one. Is that how generations work? Did, did you not produce any fire there, Mike? Did, did it, that block, just like, you saw a stone slab and it just made you a little impotent when it came to, you know, 
doing your job. <laughs> Come on, Mike. What do I pay you for? Don't answer that. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, right into the spikes. Good job, Rain. Anyway. But today, uh, they, they have this show on Netflix. It's like, why would you watch it? But it's literally called The Floor is Lava. It is exactly what you think it is. It's this guy... It's like an escape room, <laughs> but but it's it's a the floor is lava. You guys, please just meet together and form in harmony and bone thugs. But this guy uh, ma makes this room where you can um you know you have to jump from surface to surface. It's for adults. It's like an adult floor, and it's just water on the bottom. It's not actual lava. I mean that'd be kind of funny. Actually, that'd be kind of horrible. What am I thinking? But anyway, the. Uh, the actual guy, uh, like you gotta do jumps, you gotta like sometimes run up monkey bars, there's hidden switches you gotta do. And like, the the part at the end, where they, uh, maybe they do ride it, but I, I just like, I'm so used to hit it, seeing them get shocked. When they're shocked, it's just, it's not a thing. I don't know. But anyway, it, th so they, they got to show the floor is lava. I'm into it. It's It's a lot of fun. Um, but only because my kids are. Honestly, if it was just me, I'd be watching something else. Uh, I like education. I, I, I took my ear out of politics, but I do. I still love nature shows, man. But give me some Bob Ross all day. Love that guy. But, uh, so what I was getting at with that is a, uh, oops. Okay. Interesting. The, uh, we, we did our own floor is lava. Like it's oh right into it. He faked me out, man. I didn't think he was gonna go straight. But we had um, you know, we have a, we have a little climber, maybe like twenty feet from our back patio, and um, me and the daughter were out playing. Oh my nose! <laughs> and I'm like, girls want to do f floors lava. I have these extra boards we weren't using. Um, I got uh like a door. I have a, a pool, so we used all this stuff. I built like a difficult path and a, and a hard path. <laughs> Dude, I'm fighting off a sneeze. It's 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 a it's a vicious fight. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta I gotta I gotta submit to it. Dude, that was the. I'm so glad I have a mute button. <laughs> that was the messiest thing. I'm not gonna describe it for you. It was. It was. It was gorgeous. Um, but anyway, then my, my daughter's in there. She's like, I got five minutes, Daddy, and then, and then she drops something. I had to pick it up for. Her. How may I help you? Okay. What's up? Oh, okay. Yes, I sneezed like a <laughs> like a, a plane breaking the sound barrier, and I had no tissues, so I had to run in there. You came in to load your nose. I came in to load my nose. That's what I did. <laughs> anyway, I survived. So they got we got the floors lava. I built I built a um built a hard path. I built an easy path. And I built an impossible path. Actually I didn't build an impossible path. Hard path, easy path. And uh, so that way the, the eight year old got a chance. Dad got a chance. Tiny person got a chance. I even like made some innovations. I made some we have these uh like not fake sword, but I, I might as well do this, right? I got this. Uh, it's like a like a foam Nerf sword, and I'm like, look, you can use this to move move the platforms you could stand on. The girls had their minds, but we even used the swing set, and they were just like, this is amazing, Dad. And we played it for like two solid hours. Eventually, all I did, like, I eventually has to stop doing it because they have infinite energy at that age. It's just the law of physics, I guess, for tiny people. And uh, 
they would I just make the course and just watch them climb in it. It was like it was seriously like a like a version of The Sims. We got Dark Later. His name. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I love you. I wanted to do this. Hey, but he, he, he regen quite fast. I mean, he's got chaos. Dude, this guy has the essentials. Combustor and a blitz. He's he's in Vanna territory. He's like, where's, where's all the fire? <laughs> anyway, it's going to be good. There's acid rain here. I mean, acid rain's the thing of, a thing of the past. Too many possible causes. Too little insignificance in our modern thinking world. That's actually a quote from a... Oh, I felt good. From a um, State of the End of the Millennium Address by a, a punk rock band called Bad Religion. Well, well anyway, so we got to stay on topic. So, so what I was saying is, uh, you know, it's, it's just nice playing simple games with tiny people. Watching them do this kind of thing to stay in shape. You got to keep things a little interesting. Otherwise, the, the, the children, you know, they, they, they go a little nuts. I tried to play that the last the last episode number three of Slime Rancher. I tried to play with them all in here. The the sound of their tiny voices does not does not echo the chaos that goes on in this recording room. I, mean, I recommend giving it a listen if you haven't before. That game is just fun, like to begin with. Right, that's one dead wolver. We've done it. Gotcha. All right, well, just hoping that they would spawn that direction. Da -da 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 -da. Easy, easy. Just wanted to take out a little tiny person, little, little, little glow bug. I've never experienced like I, my my assumption for brandish lines are always that like the the blast goes through them. They hardly ever get carried around. Can, can we just get this guy at once? My assumptions are, I mean, obviously wrong. We are getting a good bit of frame skips though. Hey, there we go. Just due to the nature of, you know, what we're... Th th these intense graphical settings. I can run I can run Slime Ranch Rancher, but this game is just... I think you might have a, a greater chance of beating these Wolvers with your, your Combustor. Yes, thank you. Thank you for... For doing that. Appreciate it. He was probably realizing that, too. I mean, it doesn't take long to be like, yeah, they teleport. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It's okay. I don't mind. Is it that time already? Is it is it time for the March of the Tordos? I click outside the screen. Maybe it's too early. I don't know. Tordo time. It'd be nice if you just like found a random torta drone in this in the in like you're fighting Wolverden eh, it's kind of like one of the easiest levels in the game suddenly uh one of the torta drones just shows up lands in the middle of nowhere I would accept this I'd be like this is freaking awesome every other game on the channel that we play is, is ridiculous tough so I mean why wouldn't we go that want to go that direction anyway it's slowly going up to eight I mean I, I think the last uh the last I think of the last clockworks I did, if I'm not mistaken, I got three radiance at the end of it. And I was just like, what the f <laughs> What a huge use of our time. That's exactly what goes on in my mind every time I think that. Anyway. Anyway. I want the other one. Yes, this one right here. Hey, pajah. Hey yo, hey yo. It is a lot prettier though. I had people in my catacombs stream. Oh, this could be ugly. Catacomb stream actually watching uh, Spiral Nights the other night, which is kind of nice. It's, it's at a oh, thank you for flourishing them in my face. Just kidding. It's you know, it's 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 a it's a friendly it's a friendly jest. Just argument of tactics. That's all it is. We have a decent amount of health anyway. If you hold like one little slight, like off off hitting shot towards someone, 
and are ultimately res ultimately res resentful because of it. You got no one to blame but yourself. Mm -hmm. W. Skadoosh. That's from a Kung Fu Panda, right? The Skadoosh. Gotta be up to like Kung Fu Panda like 7 by now. Kung Fu Panda 7. <laughs> really? Uh, maybe, maybe not 7. But at least like 2. The blah. This I don't think I've ever seen this particular area with the shock traps. It's very interesting. Can you, can you just go down though, Mr. Shock? I'd appreciate it if I can go up here and just obliterate this healer. But yeah, felt kind of good. Boom. I did just, I did just kind of juke the Wolver, so he hit Mr. Darklighter. Sorry about that, man. Wasn't intentional. And then he just knocks him into me. <laughs> Sword combat, man. It gets a little fierce. Is there anything else down there? It doesn't matter. Ah. If I do Mike's specialty, does it mean I'm unshocked? Am I go down there? Do, do, do. All right. I'm, dude, I'm all about min-maxing this. I got an acker on a heat. Oh, no. It might have worked. I actually hit it. Good for me, I guess. But anyway, the flo dude, floor is lava. If you have never played the floor is lava, legit, it's it's a it's a game. It's worth your time investment. Go get go play with friends. You can even play in like versions of Minecraft. Although the first person element, you take the human element out of it, it kind of loses its luster. There's so many other beautifully graphically enhanced things to do on the in the online world i can get that cool. it was like seven and i love it <laughs> it's just so much damage from a charge attack it's beautiful yeah 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 there was a uh a little bit of a, a, a throwback that that nick put in you know the same creator for spiral knights that did a uh, slime rancher like the loading screens, you know, it uh, has a little kind of like flavor text. Dude, I'm doing this. I don't know what's wrong with you. Did not want to do this, but I'm doing it. The flavor text is, uh, there's, <laughs> there's legend has it, there, there's such a thing as cube slimes. But that would be silly. Who would do that? Construct. This is going to get a little uh, amazing, to put it lightly. Because uh, we gotta, we gotta avoid hitting that stuff. We'll try to um, use our volt edge as much as possible, and kind of like I want to stay down here so I can at least see what's going on. And the last, I think last time I did this particular particular danger room, we kind of like just went in a circle. It's safer down here, even if like all the walls kind of go up or kind of go down. Ah. I can at least have a visual as to where the bolts are coming from and going to. Boom. At least. Maybe. Okay. See what I mean? Like at least I know that's down. And who's trapped in what and where. And we'll have a great good chance of uh dodging most of the bullets. Beautiful. Oh, right into that one. <laughs> All right, it's up to you, Mr. Darklighter. What's left? Oh, nothing. Yeah, yeah. All right, we should probably quaff a pill by this time. I don't like going up here, but I will. Just to keep the rotation going. Boom. And we should probably get Mike involved. It's going to be bad. Yeah. Well timed hit brain, good job. Whoop. It's actually not so bad. I'm I'm surprised I dodged the first one, but very thankful. Did we do it? What's left? Oh, this guy right here. Yes, get him. Oh, we we soaked into the face. That's okay. We did it. All right. 
this might be what tips us over to actually get level 8 Akron. Beautiful. But this is like one of the, 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 uh, you know, the little potato HV undead very high. <laughs> potato? Dude, it's been a while. I remember that character though. But the, uh, I, I bring this just in case we find the, the fiend. Um, danger room. Those, those, uh, those fiends get a little nuts sometimes. There we go. His mixer ticks me off. Are they doing lockdown? I don't know. So fast, so furious. He's got Draken also. Delicious. Yeah, man, I guess that was a highlight of my day so far. The floor is lava. I had a... Um, Taking my ear out, out of politics and everything. The 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 show I've been watching, which uh, semi undirectly related to politics, but everything's political now. Everything morality is politicized, and um, there are a couple things I invest in my time. And one is with my my day nights with my wife. It's a uh, watching Space Force. I forgot what we were actually doing. Space Force is amazing. It has, whoa, you, that was one heck of an explosion of, of stuff. But space, space, uh, so Stephen Carell, right? He, he is himself, to, to put it plainly. Beautiful. So, I mean, he, I mean, he, he plays Michael Scott, basically. So he's like the, a Michael Scott, but in general form. But some of the, like, ooh, we, we could not jump him. <laughs> it was unjumpable. Some of the some of the roles he plays and some of the things that happen in the show, you're actually like, wow, that was pretty profound. Like, when he when he meets with his daughter and tries to give her life lessons, or when he, when he, um, there's this one scene where, like, it shows the Chinese satellite show up, literally snip the wings off the, off the vessel. We have an arena coming up, boys. And they're just like, what the F? And they're like, what do, we, what do we what do we got? Like, well, on board, all we have is a chimpanzee who we haven't fed in like three weeks. Like, we can respond to sign language. And like, to repair it, it, it takes like, like a complex motor function. They actually end up convincing the, sh the chimp to go outside with its spacesuit on, grab a drill, <laughs> and screw the things on. And you're just like, what? Just trying to see where my, what my guildmates are up to. But he, he ends up failing because first off, he gets frustrated. Secondly, he just puts both hands on the drill, pulls the trigger, and ends up spinning himself out of control. And then the monkey... What is this? What is this again? The monkey ends up uh, like being hurtling toward space the sun specifically and then a chinese satellite comes and rescues him <laughs> you're like oh he's like i hope that chim doesn't talk but it's it's it, it's actually is like a, a pretty fairly fine show i uh i like it gotta admit i do like it all right let's do this and let's do this it just makes sense oh one dropped that's actually very cool good job Beautiful. One, two, three. Two shots. Kill that thing. This might hurt. Oh, we killed him before he launched. Nice. Easy. Purple on semi brownish purple. The colors almost clash. One, two, three. You're in a corner, my friend. Bad place for a person like yourself to be. Watcha! Oop, easy. I like it. I love it. Mike, you want in there? There you go. Stun the crap out of that guy. Ha boom! Combustor's a way to go, man. If that's like the elemental version of what should, like the enemies basically ride it like a wave, right? 
I have no idea. I, I guess my, my bolt edge just shocks them into place. Now, of course, the reason I got that was because you can basically one-shot people in lockdown. But in the clockwork side, I have to, uh, I gotta admit, I, I, I do value the, the more riding damage type concept. It's kind of nice. Anyway. There's a moment, like, that show, because uh, the guy's the most rigid... Steve Carell's character is the most rigid, uh, like, military character. And his, uh, his wife, you, they don't tell you what she did, but she committed a crime that got her in prison. They just say it's a very serious federal offense. Um, so it's just like him and his daughters, or his daughter, rather, trying to make it by. And she's just, you know, doesn't listen to him. Clean up that juice. She's just like, it's just juice, Dad. And he's like, clean it up. Ants will get all over it. And then she ends up, like, knowing that he's out of town because he's completely honest with her about everything. So she holds a party. Nobody shows up to it. So you kind of feel for her, but not really because she's not listening to her dad. And I take definitely take the other side of this because, I, 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 you know, I got daughters. <laughs> so they don't listen to me. They feel the wrath of daddy. And, it, and as much as you can give a wrath to a little girl, I guess. I don't really do a whole lot besides yell at him. But that's enough, man. That's all you got to do. Especially the tiny one. Just yell at him. Blah, blah. Freaking Florida, Mike. I'm just, I'm just gonna soak the damage. We have we have Mace Windu's purple lightsaber at our fingertips. We don't need a whole lot more. So she gets back. He gets back. He he went into. It was ridiculous. Um. Like what it would be like to be in a space colony, for two months. Because the one guy like dropped out and ran away. It, you know, you're spending alone every day with, like, other people. So that's, he's, he's trying to adapt himself to that kind of mentality. And he comes back after having just a traumatic experience. Goes for a run on... Basically, there's a spacesuit in the desert and says he's going for a run. Which is the best. Okay, let's do this again. We're going in. I, I'll soak it. You know what? I won't soak it. I'll use my shield because that's what we should do. Whoop, easy, easy. I see what you did there. Crazy little thing. You know, when a, when a sword won't do it, it's time to use your gun. When he gets home, all these pizza containers, because she ordered like 200 pizzas. No, it wasn't that much. It was like 20 pizzas, maybe. She ordered all these pizzas, and then, uh, no one showed. There's there's more than it. Like, it's just ants. But it's, it seems like more than ants. Like, it's ridiculous that are there. And he, uh, he has some flashbacks when he's, he, like, he has a dream. When he's inside of the lunar capsule, they're trying to sleep. Even though it's, you know, the gravity on the moon would be slightly different. It was just the, the whole thing was the experiment of, of, of just, like, lunar colonization. And he has this flashback where he's just, like... Talking with his daughter about how much ice cream you want, or how much cream do you want on your on your uh, on your on your uh, Sunday? She's just like more cream, and so he goes and gets ice cream. Shows up, stuff's everywhere. It's a giant mess, and he's just like, "Do you want some ice cream?" She's like, "Yeah," because they both had stressful times. She felt abandoned, and she uh, the whole time she had just been uh, so they'd moved from D.C. to to join. And no Space Force. And I gotta say, one of the funniest lines on that show, whoop, I thought there was a guy there, was uh, about the post office. They're like, the post office doesn't exist. He's like, really? Yes, it does. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Where do you think your funding came from? <laughs> like, that's awesome. And there's this one time where he's trying to get a conjugal visit with his wife. He gets there, sits down, and then the lady, the warden comes in and says, hey, uh, <laughs> uh, the warden comes in and says, "Yeah, uh, she can't see you. Check your phone." <laughs> and the uh, and it, he gets a text on his phone. And it says, "Sex is for winners." Signed, POTUS. You know, President of the United States. And I'm like, what? Because <laughs> it's assumed it's Donald Trump. I mean, you can't just the way he, you know, presents him, presents himself and everything. It's kind of hilarious. And then, so he gets up and he leaves. And, uh, that's where we are right now. I'm still in that, still in season one. 
If there are multiple seasons, I haven't really checked. But it's a nice, enjoyable watch with my wife. Oh, so close. If you're looking for something to to entertain yourself with mindlessly, mind you, because uh, there's some deep emotional ties to the show. But when it comes to, you know, <laughs> intellectual rigor and uh, philosophy, um, uh, I would not. Yeah, don't 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 browse Netflix for your philosophical needs. Anyway, anyway, we hit the halfway point. Once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. Take care.